Bronfenbrenner is generally regarded as one of the world's leading scholars in the field of developmental psychology. His ecological systems theory holds that development reflects the influence of several environmental systems, and it identifies five environmental systems, microsystem, the setting in which the individual lives. These contexts include the person's family, peers, school, and neighborhood. It is in the microsystem that the most direct interactions with social agents take place, with parents, peers, and teachers, for example. The individual is not a passive recipient of experiences in these settings, but someone who helps to construct the settings. Mesosystem refers to relations between microsystems or connections between contexts. Examples are the relation of family experiences to school experiences, school experiences to church experiences, and family experiences to peer experiences. For example, children whose parents have rejected them may have difficulty developing positive relations with teachers. Exosystem involves links between a social setting in which the individual does not have an active role in the individual's immediate context. For example, a husband's or child's experience at home may be influenced by a mother's experiences at work. The mother might receive a promotion that requires more travel, which might increase conflict with the husband and change patterns of interaction with the child. Macro system describes the culture in which individuals live. Cultural contexts include developing in industrialized countries, socioeconomic status, poverty, and ethnicity. Chronosystem, the patterning of environmental events and transitions over the life course as well as socio-historical circumstances. For example, divorces is one transition. Researchers have found that the negative effects of divorce on children often peak in the first year after the divorce. By two years after the divorce, family interaction is less chaotic and more stable. As an example of socio-historical circumstances, consider how the opportunities for women to pursue a career have increased during the last 30 years. One. The person's own biology may be considered part of the microsystem, thus the theory has recently sometimes been called bioecological systems theory. For this theoretical construction, each system contains roles, norms and rules which may shape psychological development. For example, an inner city family faces many challenges which an affluent family in a gated community does not, and vice versa. The inner city family is more likely to experience environmental hardships, such as crime. On the other hand the sheltered family is more likely to lack the nurturing support of extended family.